Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome to Team Fortress TV. Welcome to Team Fortress TV One, where we're living here in the future. There's flying cars, there's vaccines for COVID, and everyone is in a happy place. And why is it the future? Because ETF 12, Season 37, Week 6, here in this TF TV One. If you're looking for more things from the past, though, back in Week 5, we've got you covered over on Team Fortress TV 2. That's going to be covering the other ETF 12 game, but that's the Week 5 game of Swift versus Bus Crew. But here in the future it's going to be Ascent.eu versus Faint Gaming EU. And I will be your host in this future alongside my caster of the season, at least in my heart anyways, Beta. How are we doing, Beta? Oh, a lot better with that compliment. Thank you, Twitch for Tag. <laughs> it's very nice of you. We've also got VTube here to control the knobs and you know show things on screen whenever we yell at him. So for instance I can say VTube Bring up the league tables, please, so we can talk about it, because we've got two exceptionally strong teams. You know, like we have Ascent and Fane Gaming, the number two and number one seeded team so far. And we just had this uh, fantastic tournament, the, the Dream Hack, Hack Community Clash, where these two teams finished number one and two. So this is looking like it's going to be basically a preview of the Grand Finals. And I can't wait for it, man. It's going to be so good to work. I do love living in the future. We've got stats, we've got Weetooth. What more could we need? But I know what you're thinking. Whoa, 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 boys. I've already seen this game in the DreamHack Community Clash. Slow down there. That's a, that is in the past, though, Beta. This is the future. Let I remind you again. And things change. People improve. People watch demos and people get back to it. And this is their opportunity here for faint gaming. And I. Uh, Speaking of the team, why don't we have a quick glance over at Faint Gaming? We've seen a quick look at the uh, the league table, and we know that these two teams, only a point apiece between them, and this is really going to be the decider who gets that top playoff spot. But let's look at Faint Gaming themselves. What a team, what a squad, what a bunch of names that not everybody would maybe know of. My mum certainly wouldn't know these names, but they know some. she knows some names from the Ascent squad, but... What about these mystery gamers over on Faint Gaming Beta? Well, you, you kind of have the the known quantities in like Opti, Voxtech, and Yeehaw. Like we know those guys are all really good. And then uh, you have Vanny as well, who's been around for a long time. He's not that known to be a medic main, but he was always like a pretty smart player and sort of underrated in my book. And, and he's been doing really well in medic this season as well. And I don't think anyone's really surprised. And then you have kind of the, the young guns in Mac and Hugo, Hugo was on Ascent last season, actually, uh, which was the Domo team, which was a very different team. And that didn't do too well. It was really weird. Hugo kind of did well. They all seemed to do pretty well, but that team just kept losing, and it was very odd. So now we have Hugo kind of really stepping up and proving himself to actually be a really good player. Like, his stats were, were good last season, and they're good this season. And then uh, we have Mac. It was like his DPM is, is fantastic, right? That, that's the only mm. thing that matters on Demo Man, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> and obviously, you have Yeehaw who, who won last season, and he was a uh, one hell of a scout combo. And he has really been carrying so far this season. Like, he does so much work. Look at that 33 kills per map. That's insane. Sweet Lord. So it sounds like they've got a star sort of roster in the stats department as well as just the team. And I mean, it is a team in of itself but is there anybody that's really just been pushing it just to a whole new level beta is there anybody that shines so much brighter on this team compared to all the compadres or is it quite a well-rounded team uh i, I think you're still talking about faint right yeah still faint yeah all right i, I definitely say that the the opti yeehaw flank has been the really scary part so far of this team they are extraordinarily good and getting in there and doing damage and getting behind and just racking up the kills. Like, Opti has been playing out of his mind so far this season. And he's always been a really good soldier. He's been around in Prem for quite a long time. He had a small stint on Scout and he was definitely worse on that. But he's back on Soldier and he just keeps on hitting insane shots. And you can even see that his stats are actually pretty decent for a Roamer. Like, he, hmm. he's approaching a 1KD. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a rare thing in Roma land. Usually, you don't have a stat, a clutch stat, as I like to call it, to really keep eye of all the plays and all the priorities. And 
sort of little jobs that it's hard to pull off as a rumor in the stat department but i'm glad you said it beto i kind of think that maybe it's my soldier heart telling me that oh dear god it's the bias coming over again i just love soldiers and i'm not really focusing on any of the class so i'm very glad you confirmed that bias for me but if we bring it on over to their opponents and what an opponent is i feel like an introduction is almost an insult because these names these this team kind of speaks for itself it's been making waves and it's been doing a great job even in the dream community uh, dream hack community clash but i guess we have to go for it just for the stream sake so over on ascent what are we preparing for here at beta it's almost just a, a dream team of players that are just incredible we have lucas tank he wasn't in last season he was uh, actually hanging out in Div 1. He, he doesn't seem to be slowing down. He hasn't dulled. He's one of the best demos in the game. Then we got Poppy, kind of played last season, but not really one of the best pockets in the game. Then we got Captain, also one of the best pockets in the game, but he has uh, switched over to Roma. And he did play last season, and he was very, very good. And now he's just on, on Roma, and he's probably the best Roma in the game. Wouldn't surprise me at all. He kind of has all the prerequisites to succeed. And then you have the Tomas Tiger Scout combo, which is incredibly scary. Tiger, probably the more known quantity there, like an absolute beast scout that just keeps on running behind, and he is so annoying to deal with on a lot of maps. I'm not sure how relevant that's going to be on Granary, at least in the first map to deal with, but in general, very, very strong DM scout. And then Tomas has kind of proven himself over the last three or four seasons that he is also one of the best scouts in the game. And then it's rounded out by Classy who's been his uh, scout combo buddy for quite a while. And he's now on Medic. So that's his first season on Medic, and so far he's been pretty good at it. Sweet Jesus, Peter, where do I even start? Usually I have to kind of keep both of the plates spinning for both of these squad, make it seem like both of them have a chance here. But when you give a, uh, a team like this against Faint Gaming, what are the silver linings for Faint Gaming? What are the ones we could say like, oh, they've got this on the bright side for Faint Gaming compared to Ascent? Um, I'd say that Tiger has been very inconsistent in the way that he performs. He has a tendency to either go completely nuclear or just kind of feed a lot more than you'd like him to. You can definitely see the average depth uh, are the highest of any scout in this game. So he, he mm. kind of has suicidal tendencies at times where maybe he's too confident or he looks like he's being too sloppy and not really worrying too much about it. Uh, so, so maybe you can bait him into to overextending and get, getting some easy, uh, like five v six situations going off of him, hmm. and then, like, I don't know, I don't, I'm not sure who's <laughs> doing the the main uh, calling, but I, I don't know, is it not classy? Like classy is inexperienced on medic, so it could definitely be I, that he makes a mistake. You know? I mean, I, I'd imagine it would be Pappy. I feel like Master Mind Pappy is on top of things, but I'm going to, you know, some things have changed since the DreamHack community clash. I'm going to list a couple of things off beta, and you pick out your favorite thing. You think what's given them the most edge here for sure. Faint Gaming. All right, so since then, they have lost the game, but they've allowed to go back to the drawing board and look back at their mistakes, or the fact that the maps are different this evening, because the maps were very different compared to the Community Clash to what they're playing this evening as well. They've got uh, it's the Metalworks and Granary for this week that they will be forced to play. Now, do you think any of these two points lean a bit more in favor for Faint Gaming? Do you think they're happy about one or the other more? Uh, I, I think the fact that they're not playing Viaduct is really good for, for Faint. Like Viaduct has, uh, or Product, sorry, has been one of the, the best maps for Ascent so far. Like uh, just this season, they've been completely dominant on it, and it almost just feels like a free win on that map for them. So, so that's going to help. And other than that, I, I don't think there's going to be too, too much difference. There's going to be who's actually better on the night. And that can vary wildly. You, you never really know where you are in terms because some people just came home from work and they're super stressed or maybe they have a test that they're worried about or mm. they're just feeling bad. You know, like you never actually know mm. what, how people are feeling on a given night. So just the fact that it is a different night uh, mm. is going to change things. Like That's pretty much the only thing I have to say. It's, I, I think it's they're going to be roughly in the same spot. But I, I will say this, that... Uh, I casted Faint uh, last week, on, th on Thursday, I think, and they played against the Global Clan, which is uh, the lowest ranked team in ETF12, and they won. Mm. But they were so sloppy. 
and, and you can just tell that they were absolutely just not really worrying about it and playing way too brave. And they're going to need to play a lot more conservative and disciplined if they actually want to take wins off of Ascent because mm. they were making a lot of mistakes, not really getting punished for it against uh, Global Clan. But Ascent, they will punish them. So, mm. I mean, that's the only thing that really worries me. But it's probably unfounded because can we really blame people for not playing super seriously against a, an opponent that they know they're going to win against? Yeah, you have reminded me quite nicely that it is a different night and it's got different stakes. This is, after all, a league game and it is not the end-all, be-all. It's no playoff game, nothing like that. And do you think those sort of pressures can bring out the best or worst of these teams tonight? I definitely think that we could see... Um... Like think not really do anything special and they just kind of see what Ascent are doing just so that they have ammo to kind of build and, and plan around when they meet them in the playoffs mm. you know so they can definitely be holding back some strategies I, I would kind of expect that from almost both sides here they're, they're not too worried about it they're both making the playoffs there's no doubt about it so there really are no proper stakes it's just a matter of actually having a good night and playing well you know, these are competitive players. They play to win all the time. Mm. So you, you, you can only curtail that kind of uh, trend <laughs> as for as long as uh, you can hope to do. It's, it's not really something that they, they will do. They, they're going to take it uh, pretty seriously, obviously. Mm. But yeah, they, they might be holding. It might be like a really simple night where we just see like simple suicide plays. Nothing really fancy coming in. But we're just going to see Yeeha run in along with the soldier when we get into some stalemates. It's going to be very cookie cutter and standard, I think. Mm. We're not going to see any brave brand new strategies. All right. Now, I'm going to recycle a point I talked about at the DreamHack Community Clash. But I feel like it's a fun point to talk about. And it's about outplaying your opponent and outthinking your opponent. Now, the last time we did this, uh, Ascent were kind of outplaying and outsmarting uh, their opponent uh, in faint gaming but if you had to choose between what's the way to win for both of these teams what do you think is like the correct play here is it better to be just outplaying your opponent or outsmarting them what's the difference between the <laughs> two? uh well what, well one what if one's just literally like you're going in you're past the scouting it up you're just holding you're getting tiger on that sniper class like he is right now and you're just you know, walking in, getting those hero shots, outplaying them, getting that hard aim going? Or do you want those ones where you really want to just outplay them, uh, outplay them, outsmart them, play, take it slow, yeah. maybe start running oh, those sentry guns to second? Definitely outplay them, just piggybacking off what I said earlier, where I think they're not going to be out strategizing them at all. I, I think they're just going to go for the really standard things and it's just going to be whoever hits their shot the most and have the best coordination are going to win. So I, I think that's how they're going to do it. But let's actually take a look at some head-to-head -head, uh, matchups here because we do have the stats. Oh yeah, we do. Yeah, lined up. So let's take a look at the, some Captain versus Opti stats here because these are two fantastic roamers. And, and you can kind of see that the, like, they're, they're matching up pretty well, but the, <laughs> very different stats, I'd say. Yeah, they, I think the two play yeah, just exactly different parts to play between both of these teams. Uh, you see a lot more damage and coming out from uh, Opti. I feel like he does have a lot more bigger plays, though, as a player. I feel like Captain's like the most solid Roma out of the entire season. He's the one that doesn't make mistakes or just gets the bits that he needs to do done, and that's enough. The rest of his team is backing him up so hard, he doesn't need to do any other big plays. While Opti, Opti's just a walking clutch machine. Yeah, you can see if you just look at like uh, the deaths and the KD ratio, you can kind of see that Opti is the way more active roamer. He, he jumps in a lot more than Captain. Captain is uh, he almost like the old gear uh, roamer. Oh, kind of yeah. makes sense that he's the old pocket, right? Where like uh, Opti, he, he does more damage, he takes more damage, he dies more, and he makes more plays. And, and you can really see that in the stats, whereas Captain is much more conservative in the way that he plays. And I'm kind of surprised he doesn't have more. They're both hitting insane air shots, I guess, <laughs> per map. So, yeah. Crazy. That's impressive to say that, you know, the air shots are kind of the same, but Opti's on the map a little less. And uh, But you're right. I think the captures per map really illustrates as well that Captain does like to preserve his life a lot more, especially on these mids. I feel like Ascent do a good job of preserving the lives of both of their soldiers and trying to gain ground rather than, like, gain damage or kamikaze in 
Yeah. All right, so it's time for the backup, uh, the one that we've tucked away in the back here, just in case that these two teams haven't started, and it is the Medic matchup. The Medic stats, they don't nearly get enough love in any sort of uh, video game capacity. So, Classy versus Vanny. What's the first thing that's jumping out at you, Beta? It's definitely the, the average deaths per map, where it's a lot higher on Vanny, and it is by far the most important stat to have as a Medic. So, it kind of speaks to a sense dominance so far this season, and it's obviously a really cool thing. You can also see that uh, actually Vanny has more assists per map, which kind of tells me that he's in the fight more. Like uh, his depth per map and his assists per map kind of paint this picture of a, a medic who's much more comfortable being in the fight, dishing out uh, heals while like being shot at and being in danger and kind of playing that dangerous game. And he does have more heals per minute as well to kind of show for it. So it's not as a one side as it initially looks off of just the depths, uh, as important as those can be. Yeah. He also has more Ubers, actually. So, wow, it's really interesting in yeah, medic stats. Yeah, it is the stats that usually don't couple uh, together one another. If you're having more deaths, you're usually having less Ubers. You know, dying more equals less Ubers. But this man seems to pull out the stat. What's even more weird is like the drops are less for Vanny. He's dying more, but when he is dying, he isn't got he hasn't got Uber charge. He's just dying. But uh, Classy though, who's dying a lot less, actually has more drops. So I guess if he dies, something drastically bad has gone wrong. Whilst for Vanny, <laughs> it's more. I, I don't want to say planned, because I know nobody plans the medic to die, but it seems a lot more like aggro. Yeah, it's more acceptable. It, it's an okay outcome, whereas uh, if Classy dies, it's because everyone else has been mowed down already, and he's he's just the only one alive, So we, and then he gets killed. But, All right, B. Yeah, we've yeah, gone go through the stats. We've uh, gone through the introductions. It's time to go through our predictions. We are the end-all and be-all of our crystal ball, after all. And who's going to win this first Granary map? I would put my money on Ascent. So I, I think, in general, they're, they're the better team. But I also think that uh, this map caters to their playstyle really well. I think all of these stats kind of speak to their playstyle of being a much more aggressive team that have, like... A lot of damage output, a lot of really aggressive plays, a lot of deaths, and a lot of uh, like really active fights going on at all times. Whereas Ascent, they're much more passive, they kind of take it slow. They're almost more out of uh, the seven game book of uh, how you play this game. And I would say Granary favors that quite a bit. Like Especially if they get some sort of early round off of uh, an easy mid, which can happen on this, then they can just slow it down really significantly. And... If they ever get into that kind of advantageous situation, they're just going to milk it forever. But uh, what's your take on this before we I'm, go live? I'm going to go for a faint gaming. You know, I'm a lover devil's advocate, but I think all eyes need to be on Mr. Mac right now. Mr. Mac is a big decider of whether this game wins or loses because he was the kind of deciding factor, I think, in the DreamHack community clash. And I'm eager to see how what he has prepped for this granary map. We'll see if we ever get to see anything that they actually have prepped here as uh, both of these teams have gone in. Pretty, pretty passive so far, Turbo Tabs. Yeah, both teams just waiting. Pappy's finally going to launch up high into the sky so far, but they're playing awfully defensive over on Ascent.eu. They just want to kind of keep things clean, but it's quite shady so far. Fane Gaming opting to just keep the high ground and rain Hellfire from above. Let's see. Oh, Hugo will hold his ground, and the ground has favored him a lot during this mid it will be a faint gaming mid yeah it was a 2v2 situation or so i thought it's actually a 1v2 because uh, poppy has gone all the way forward he is on the enemy for a second point right now so i think he's trying to sneak his way onto a medic kill and you can oh, oh. did they spot him oh it they did yeah, sadly, I think uh, he didn't think in a million years he would get the medic pick. And Vanny actually wasn't really aware of Pappy's position. He wanted to get a soldier pick instead, and he won't even get just that. So with Pappy going down, and I don't think they'll make a push off this. They know that they lost Vanny later on in the fight, so they're going to be down a bit of Uber, and they're going to play a bit different. I say, eat my own words. They're pushing in, Vita. They've already Sorry? laid down some damage. They're caught crawling all over this yard area they're throwing everybody and the wolves at them and they managed to keep themselves alive and they're still going with this pappy's holding the line though he's spamming those rockets he will go down and poor classy he's got nobody to heal despite having even that heal advantage and that uber advantage yeah, they're already on the point and it's only classy no one spawns in time and classy's just sitting in there 
I guess he didn't know when the spawn was. And that was extremely aggressive coming out. And, like, Ascent definitely didn't expect it. You could hear you didn't expect it. I kind of mentioned how they did this against Global Clan, but I thought they were just kind of playing around and kind of, sort of just being too aggressive. But apparently it's just their play style. They are extremely aggressive. They just pushed off of that one poppy push. That's it. That's basically the only thing they had. They had an uber disadvantage and everything, but they just went in and they're going to get around off of it. So great play by them. All right, let's see if they can catch lightning in a bottle twice as they will be going towards another mid. Pappy still got rocking the same sort of position he was doing before. Captain going again, doing the same sort of aggressive, not dedicating himself though, however. He uh, prioritizes his life. Lucas goes down at the start of this. This is the disastrous mid so far. The scouts are going to have to do some heavy lifting to carry this out. They're focusing on that Devilman. Devilman's been left high and dry because... They were dealing with a, a pesky little soldier on the back line for Faint Gaming and with an Uber popped out now and no p Uber popped out for Classy, they could maybe make a repush out of this over on Ascent. Looks like they're going to wait just a little bit. They don't really have anything other than a single scout to try and run in and block this. So they are going to lose this mid. I'm kind of surprised Vandy got his Uber that much earlier. I didn't see if he got a saw or not, but I suspect he did because he got that Uber really quickly and then he just popped it. But they're obviously going to be facing down an Uber here as well. Lucas is known to jump in really aggressively with Ubers. We we'll see how they, they play this. There's going to be a sticky trap. There's going to be a soldier on this crate. It's just going to be a matter of can they get through without popping here. Yeah, they want to try and push him with the slow. They've actually got a couple of players behind. They're scared of the back cap for Ascent.eu and they should be. They've got a scout already on the back lines capping that point and they need to go back beater. There's no risk about it. Yeehaw going deeper with taking out a page from the Starkey book. He will go down, however. That's a page missing from the Starkey book. And they have delayed the mid, but uh, can, yeah, they, they can always... They can make another push in now though. The Uber's been come out actually for Faint Gaming. They popped first and Ascent respond in kind, but do they dare keep pushing forward? Hugo's around this corner to lay down the trap, but they don't take the bait to send out EU. A scout has uh, rotated around. I think that was uh, Tiger not going to decide to push anything in here. So very aggressive pushes coming out here on third of Faint Gaming, and that was a very aggressive Uber coming out. They've actually jumped in a sword behind. So now Opti is going to be <laughs> the one caught out here. That's actually Hugo, my bad, who was the one that got through. Both scouts are now in. Somehow, again, faint. Just these aggressive pushes just catching out Ascent like crazy. Yeah, they managed to get one player in, and that was enough to uh, make them worried over on Ascent. They don't want to kind of get get flanked from behind with the soldier, so they have to push their line back just ever so slightly, and it allows the other cracks to... Uh, show themselves. They will start uh, weaseling their way onto this point now, getting it for free seemingly, and that's the second point. Easy peasy lemon squeezy beater. No worries. They just got it very easily. Oh no. Uh -oh. Next uh -oh. thing goes down just as a soldier went in there as well. It was obviously uh, an attempt at a coordinated push there onto the medic, but it failed heavily. They're actually going to get forced really early now here on Faint, and they're just desperately pushing forward. Trying to get the force out of Classy, but they're not even close to getting it. A single soldier off top here in Hugo. He's going to have to do some heroic shit to get this Uber out, but I don't think he's going to do it. Oh man, everyone's on a different wavelength uh, in that faint mumble as they, he saw Vanny position himself so aggressively, wanted to stay into the fight, but everybody else on faint looked like they wanted to get out there and it ended up losing them that, uh, that uber charge as well as the second point. They didn't even pop uh, Ascent, so now they've got an uber charge ready to go into this uh, mid point. They don't even have to use it, nobody's really pressuring the medic because they're just always on the back foot here faint gaming. Yeah, they could still get pushed. They're not out of the woods yet. Obviously, if Ascent, they're going to slow down just a little bit just to cap out the point. But they could just still go in here and actually push out Vandy if they're very, very quick about it. But Ascent, not really that willing to push off a small advantage. It's kind of unlike Fate. That's, uh, Tiger's the only exception to that rule. He's going to run into three players, not kill them all. He's actually going to die himself. It's looking like quite the outline between these two teams so far. Ascent very defensive while Faint Gaming are very aggressive and it's been a dire for both of these teams when it goes good and when it goes bad and it's going bad for Faint so far. They go into the aggre uh, the defensive team and just get munched up, meat grinded at just the firing line and not everybody can really support them over on Faint Gaming. So they're going to head back now, reserve that Uber and just try and hold the second point from an arm's length. 
Yeah, this is a, a very classic uh, fake play, definitely the Yeehaw Opti Suicide. We're going to see that a bunch. And I really like to actually use it on this second point. Oh it's my. It's so important. Yeah, never mind that. It's really important to have soldiers and demo men to actually spam out the second point, but a soldier just got picked off, so this is a lot more dangerous for faint now. Oh no! Oh no! Oh. Vanny's gone down! Tiger! He didn't get the memo. Most players don't dare play Sniper at this sightline, line, but Tiger's no ordinary Sniper. He just goes around and gets the easiest pick of his life. Vanny should be well aware of a Sniper there. And oh my god! Another head rings out for Tiger! It looks like one of those nice days for Tiger. A oh nice God, air Captain. shot coming out from Opti there, but he won't get the kill on him. The points being pressured by a sentry. The Ubers come out, the sentry gun's been cleaned up. Everyone is going down. There's only one last Hazar coming out from Hugo. He goes down and... God, that Tiger sniper beater. It was nasty. They definitely knew about it. Like, he just picked off everyone. He picked off a soldier, picked off a medic, picked off the demo man. Really clean pushing from Ascent. Very quickly. A massive air shot from Opti was not enough to actually kill a captain. Then Poppy just came in and basically stood on some pipes, shot to ground. Very easily as everyone was just funneled onto the point. And that's going to be one to one here from Ascent. Uh, off of that huge play from Tiger. And this is kind of what he can do. This could be one of those nights where Tiger just goes absolutely ballistic. It's a nail biter. Mac being pressured a lot at the start of this mid. He's going to have to get a lot of attention brought to him. Captain's trying to play it sneaky. He's going to take the health pack and take Vanny's life. Easy for the uh, Dutchman as he will even maybe get a kill. Nice little air shot coming out from Captain. He even lays down some more foundation damage. That mid was all Captain there, Bisa. Yeah, jumps in, gets the air shot, does the damage, survived for a really long time. This is going to eventually die there, but... You can really see Poppy just was the first one in. He did a bunch of damage, called out where, where that was, and then Captain just followed up along with the rest of his team. Really good mid for them. Gonna have a full Uber advantage. We see Faint here, they're kinda going forward, trying to actually catch out the demo, and wow, they did that just to slow down the second point. That was definitely worth it. They're just taking so uh -oh. aggressive fights. Wow. Wow, Tiger feeling himself. Trying to take the 1v1 gets absolutely smashed. And they will be forced to use their Uber in the top area. Opti forcing that Uber out. And they're actually going to fight against two scouts on point. Classy's like, I'm not taking that fight. Yeah. Man. You're on your own. I'm out of here. And he's left pissing in the wind. Tomas is going to go down to both of those scouts. And their scouts are hungry, Peter. But so is Pappy. He's getting flanked from each side. He will go down. The man can blow lead and they still want to keep taking fights it looks like for Ascent but you think they'll learn their lesson by now Beta? Yeah Faint they are just so aggressive there's no way that any other team would have actually contested second very well there and you could just tell that Ascent the they scout, were not The scout is on Vanny. Vanny's wow. dropped! He's ended up looking in deep into the eyes of the scout thinking he's not going to hit this shot but he did. Lucas is going to have to oh my that is some nice little pipes and rockets coming out from the pair there and Oh, this has put a massive shunt in this push now, Beta. They had an advantage there. Yeah, it really just looks like Faint they're doing better overall, and then Tiger happens, and then all of a sudden Ascent are uh, at a huge advantage. They're going to push in on the second. They're going to be very diligent this time around. I guarantee you, they just lost a really easy push with an Uber advantage before. So this time around, they want to make sure that Faint cannot get in here in any capacity. So they just locked down all these uh, different entrances, and they're getting ready to come in here from uh, the top with an Uber. All right, second time's the charm. They're going in with the Uber. They have to deal with the sentry gun first. Lucas has been launched into the sky, but he's just turned into an airplane anti-strike. Will uh, end up cleaning up the soldier on that pipe there. The fat man's come out. Yeehaw's just trying to chip him away, dissuade them from pushing out, but they're just getting nice and healed up here. They do have a numbers advantage, but they won't have many advantages for long. Vox Tech has got them on their blind side, killing these players. Captain's gone in deep. Nobody's looking at the point during all this, Peter. I wasn't, and neither was Faint Gaming. It's 2-1-2 two, two, Ascent. Really great job by Ascent there to just kind of hold back, take a deep breath, get everyone healed up, and then re-engage with that big fight. It's a very scary proposition to kind of jump into a heavy like that because <laughs> there was a fully wrapped up heavy just ready to mow them down as they jumped in there, but they just took their time, got a nice fight off, and then, yeah, eventually they snuck a scout onto the point. That's going to be 2-1 to one here for Ascent. 
This is a one hell of a, an aggressive game so far, and I'm loving it. All right, let's see what these soldiers can cook up. This, both these soldiers for both of these teams have been the reasons that they've been winning. And Opti wants to go in aggressive onto the medic. Will get taken out, however. Oh, nice little kind of cleanup play from Ascent on the aggressive shoulders of Faint Gaming. And Faint Gaming have realized they're down some numbers. They need to get out of here. Oh, they, Pappy had different ideas. Good thing Mac, the man, has managed to clear out Pappy and his aggressive little flank there. Nice clutch play from him. Yeah, and Faint, you can see... They continue to be aggressive. They want to push back into mid here. This is extremely uh -oh. weird scout, to see. Not again. Uh, the scout's actually gone aggressive this time. Double scout Uber. There's a nice single Uber on Vox Tech, and he wants to take it in. He's going uh, aggressive with it, but it's two scouts. Three uh, soldiers being thrown into the mix as well. Hugo trying to flank them around. They're entering the meat grinder here, Beta, and the bones are actually being mulched here by, gobbled up by Ascent.eu. Yeah, it's just so aggressive from Faint. And if they just keep being this one note where they just keep on running in, I think Ascend are just going to catch on to it and make really sure that they just kind of plug these uh, these entrances really heavily so that you can't really get through. And then once you try to walk through them, once the Ubers have worn off, then you just uh, end up in huge trouble here as Tiger's going to jump in very aggressively, but he's going to end up dying for it. So probably Whoa. this is going to be a push called off. No, Alp team may have had a, a big flank there. They're still going at it here, Beta. They just don't seem to lose their, uh, make their lesson here. They're just, or learn their lesson, I should say. They're just walking in brainless every time, and it's just not working out. And they're trying a to play off it now. They've got a two-man advantage. Lucas is trying to find his foothold in this door, but there's just too much uh, to deal with. They will lose track of a soldier going in behind. He's going to get cleaned up by the heavy weapons guy. The Uber has been forced out, however, and this is a win in Ascent.eu's book. Absolutely. Tiger snuck his way in there, got uh, some nice shots onto the medic. Actually had to force Vanya there to probably drop again or actually respect Tiger this time around. So he, he chose to respect him this this time. And now it's going to be a full Uber Ascent here. Uber advantage on Ascent here for Classy. It looks like he's going to go up top again. We saw this before and it worked out pretty well. It wasn't the prettiest push, but it worked. Yeah, uh, let's see how much work Lucas can get done. They will try and clean up that sentry gun, but it's gone, finally gone down now. They have to deal with this sniper, but he actually has rotated out, and they're just playing things cool, just like last time, Beta. Play it back, play off the heels, and go off the numbers advantage. And they've gone in now, they've dedicated in, and it's going a bit more pear-shaped than before. They do take out the heels and the uber charge for Faint Gaming now, but they have just should have focused on the guys with guns, Beta. Yeah, it was uh, it was very hairy. <laughs> I, they, they probably should have gotten out as soon as they, they lost the guy, but they, they were kind of committed at that point. Uh -oh. Tiger's going <laughs> to just overwhelm Hugo there. They're not getting chased out this time around. Uh, still going to be a second cap, no problem. Ubers are even. We saw that both medics actually liked running Crits Creek, so it could definitely be something that uh, we should keep our eyes out on in these even Uber situations. Neither of them are using Crits Creek, it looks like here. But Tiger again is going to jump in. He's so good. He's still alive. Oh okay. my. I can't believe it. He's bought so much room and space for his team. When Tomas backed him up there, it just kind of won the line on their own. The combo just kind of came in from top. They were like, oh, we've, we've won second. Good job, Scouts. Well done. Yeah, they got so much space there. Oh. <laughs> Captain gets air shot oh. into another soldier with the air shots. The so is going to end up going down. This is just complete carnage. Essentially, they are jumping on the point. They're going to cap this out. What? Uh, an aggressive and explosive push coming out here. Both teams just hitting crazy shots, but the Ascent kind of win out on that. Just the the re push was just too strong with the main advantages and everything. Uh, yeah, let's hope that the that Faint can really kind of figure out that they're being too aggressive in some situations. Just play it a bit more by ear. You know, they they have they have had some success with running in some scouts really aggressively, and then having everyone else follow up on it, but. I kind of want to see them be a little more multifaceted here. Uh, well, uh, I hope you like crits because that's a multifaceted uh, weapon. He's going to start getting uh, things aggressive. He's only at 80% and he's just arrived to mid, so we're probably going to see a crits pop out in this mid so far. Ascent do play things very sheepishly, so the crits are coming out now. He pops it onto Lucas, misses the first stick, he gets the second stick. He, he's trying to carpet bomb the corner, but everyone's just launched up in the air for Ascent. Everyone's entered the blender over here, Beater, and I don't know what it's coming out as more blue or more red. Oh, no! Nice pipe coming out from Mac. It's a soldier versus demo man. 
Oh, nice point Ooh. coming out from Mac again. He wants to play the point and see if he can get the food. Ooh, and again, another it. nice point. Mac will not be denied this mid. Yeah, he just won this basically on his own. That was from really, really nice pites coming out from Mac. It was a, a 2v2 turned into a 1v2 and then he just nails it. Great job by him. Uh, the Chris Creek actually kind of worked as well. He sent uh, Lucas into the skybox. He, he ended up cratering. So it did do some damage and it was really well timed and the soldiers jumping in. Uh oh. Oh. Uh, speaking of uh, timing, that was not good timing here. So <laughs> Hugo trying to get out, cannot do it. Vanny has gone down as well. So again, faint. Just a bit too aggressive here. Yeah, dare I say it, uh, Beta. I actually think they weren't aggressive enough. I think they took too much time and were a bit sheepish about pushing out into the yard area. And by that point, Ascent just took the ground back and uh, pushed them close at the door, kept them from trying to get in. And again, another meat grinder situation happened. Tomas, he snuck himself behind. He's on top of Mac. Won't get the uh, kills or the shots he was looking for. Uh, and Uber's popped out during all this. Vanny's uh, shocked and surprised. He will go down, and I think that's the nail on the coffin for this second point. Yeah, Hugo's going to hit a nice air shot there onto, onto Tiger, who's going to get cleaned up. So Faint, they're actually kind of winning hell? this fight. Yeah, they won the, the fight on the flank, and now they're just carrying that onto the combo. So they're going to take everyone down. He told us there's a gun sniper in there. Just a single sword remaining. Pop's going to run up on one singular HP and that's gonna be that one HP warrior they don't know where he is they have to check every door and just make sure just in case and I think that one HP has actually bought them from pushing out to mid there beta yeah sometimes that's how it works Thomas is on sniper so on a sticky bomb so he might just get taken down yeah he's gonna run up with four so a scent they're living on the edge right now is so close to dying all the time and Ubers are even, however, so it's just going to be a sniper stalemate. Hero oh shot! God. Hero shot! He missed it! Oh, sad days for the uh, for the guy. As they're going to try and make a push out of this now with a player down. They haven't got the Uber charge, but that's never bothered Faint Gaming before. Lucas is uh, just making them pay their dues, however. How dare you enter a doorway without my say-so? He will end up killing a couple of players there. He's still got that doorway on lockdown, I believe. Classy's got his own problems, and while Faint Gaming do managed to get in it was so messy and so costly i don't think it was worth it yeah I, I think they didn't lose the players that they expected to lose so the people that were really deep just kind of went oh i guess we're, we're fighting this because there's no way we're getting out and they actually did manage to trade pretty well so there's not a complete disaster here for faint they were like a one player look at down. tiger the only <laughs> man that could hit him was the medic that's so shocking to believe and now they will try and push back out with this faint gaming with uh, Tiger over aggressing there, but bless his heart if he stayed alive for far too long. That was some real scout movement there, just uh, kind of bouncing around in the corner, <laughs> waiting for his inevitable death. It took a while though. Hugo's in again. He's been very aggressive so far in this game. Yeah, there we go. He's gone down. And then Mac immediately dies. Oh, no. I think he got bounced in oh, no. by a sticky and then gets immediately piped. So. This is not the situation that uh, Faint they were looking for. Since they're doing a really good job so far this game, just shutting down the aggression. It was a little bit scary oh. in the beginning. A shocking Uber coming out here. Double Scout Chariot trying to catch them off guard, but uh, they're between a doorway and a demo man, and a demo man does love a doorway beater. He ends up locking them out and throws away the key and their life. Uh, Hugo maybe even getting caught out here. Lucas wants to play off this. Oh, he thinks better of it. Ends up cleaning up that player. They've got the Uber charge, keep that need I remind you and they will actually go aggressive onto Mac now he's kind of caught out nobody there to really back up Lucas however and he ends up feeding one HP warrior on this man again <laughs> I guess that's uh, that's some comment from the last time it happened on the, the opposite team on Poppy Ooh. right Captain's gonna eat a pipe though and just immediately go down just to look around the corner and see oh what's in here and it was a pipe and then he died that's kind of what it was so well, my prediction Oh no, why are they entering this doorway? Pappy's just holding it down. Mac will flank him around. They've got Tiger on Sniper because of course they have got Tiger on Sniper. He just goes when he's feeling it. And it's a soldier going aggressive onto their medic. I bet they wish they had a scout. Now, nah, never mind, they've got that scattergun. That scattergun, that like uh, some machine gun will clean him up. They get Vanny though. Lucas picking up the pieces here. And oh, it's looking very, very just pear-shaped for both the of them. Back There's a backcap. 
during all of this as well, a scent know a good cheese when they know it, and... Oh, the fox, it's so critical, Fox that just comes in and saves it. Poor thing, so they're gonna get that. They lose Vanny in the whole process of this push, though. Uh, Classy actually hasn't begun healing yet, so kind of, yeah, somehow ends up with an uber disadvantage, even though he spawned earlier. That's unfortunate. Tiger is behind. They don't know. He's going in now. He gets a, a nice oh. little double uh, snap oh kill. Easy God. for the Englishman. It makes it look so, so easy. And now, with the second point defended, he's on the aggression. He wants to get another kill. There's nothing stopping this man apart from a doorway that might have stickies. And, oh, he's tempting death there. He actually hasn't missed a shot in so long. Like, you can tell he's just on it. <laughs> you can oh. tell he wants to go in. Oh, nice little air shot from Opti. Won't finish off the kill, however. And they do get a kill onto Tiger with that sticky trap I was talking about before. Tomas ends up going down, overextending himself. And Faint Gaming, they can fight back here. They've got three down, and they've only lost Vox Tech. Yard is not even being held. They've already got some sneaky stickies and whatnot being planted by a send dot. Uh, EU, but they weren't paying attention to the garage door. They get the flank in and <gasps> the sticky trap gets Opti and now there's a sign of life for this second point. Reinforcements have arrived. The Uber charge has arrived and will there be a second Uber? That I don't see it so far. They're actually milking this for all it's worth. Classy finally presses the button. They're going aggressive. You oh. can't leave. I won't let you, says Lucas. And they will clean up that medic. The advantage continues because yeah, just that nuke onto the medic there. The very emphatic denial of any kind of escape from coming out from Lucas. So great, great Uber there from Ascent. You really just, they, they're playing this so well whenever Faint are just trying to force their entrance into any, any point. They're just playing back, spamming them out, forcing them to pop or lose players. And then they just milk the Uber ex expertly and win out in the fight that follows. And then even uh, denying the, the escape there as well of the enemy medic was going to leave them at a really sizable uber advantage so they can push off of that or they can decide not to it doesn't really matter i think both things are tactically sound at this point but they're probably going to push it's been a pretty aggressive game they're changing gear over on uh, Fane Gaming. They realize that the Uber Charge should be coming any minute now, so they will try and back out. Hugo's caught out, though. He might go down, but there's no more left in the chamber to finish him off, and they will play things a lot more slower, a lot more careful here for Ascent, because they think that they might be able to get this second point without having to pop their Uber. Soon it's not going to matter, though, because Vanny has his own. Yeah, they, they did manage to get the yard, but that's all they really get out of it. Very passive play there from Fate. They positioned themselves well, made sure that there was no way Benny was going to get caught out. But they're actually just going to run in Tomas, see if he can make any magic happen. Maybe he wants to play play Sniper. He did get the medic down pretty weak. So it was probably a, an actual genuine attempt. But we've seen a lot of Sniper plays so far from the center on this point. So maybe that's something for Fate to actually keep note of uh, going into any kind of uh, playoff series. Ooh. Oh no, oh. nice little double kill, red like a book, Lucas has their number, I didn't think that trap would come into play, but they knew that, they just too kill hungry over on Faint Gaming, they throw in Tomas, but they will push with that, Faint Gaming, and it's to their demise, and when they try to cross the yard area, they end up going down to that unlikely sticky trap from Lucas, well played to that man. <laughs> yeah, he was four steps ahead. I just uh, th this is what 40 chess looks like, yeah, ladies and, and gentlemen. Yeah, and Faint Gaming are playing checkers. Poor, poor team. And Vox Tech could go for the back cap here. They've got Tomas on Pyro. And interesting, he's going for the uh, the walk-up play. Who needs rockets when you've got a pipe that sends you to the stars? And they don't even need him. He's finally just came in, but the rest of the team were able to mop that up on their own. He totally contributed. All right, Turbo Tabs, I will hear no... No, nothing to suggest otherwise. He really contributed there. He was very <laughs> scary looking. He got a, a post-game kill. He was great on Pyro. It was really worth it. I really do wonder what the hell is the thought process between going Pyro and uh, Granary Offense. <laughs> maybe it was the pie in the sky thing. You look at the Pyro, it's like, is that a Pyro on pipe? And suddenly you're just getting gunned down by all these other players. And Lucas, my god, he's gone top oh. of Mac! Mac has been humiliated on this mid. And that's the mid over. GG, gone, Luke, gone. Bye Lucas bye. has kind of been bullying Max so far this uh, this map. Just really been winning the one v one duels. Like he's been picking off Mac quite a lot. So he's really establishing dominance so far, and it is just 
benefiting his team so much. And now said, they're not going to wait. They're like, we have one man more. Let's just go. Three minutes left. Oh, they're feeding in a couple of kills over on Ascent. Faint Gaming don't want to give this up. Pappy will even out the numbers just a little bit, but he's low. They can't really commit in. Vanny's like, there's a scout in the left team. Are we not going to address this at all? And they haven't really got the manpower to cover all the doorways, but they're still trying, Vita. Yeah, <laughs> they don't want to slow down really for anything. We're, we're kind of in, in no consequence territory here for Ascent. They can still lose this map, but it's kind of becoming razor thin. So I, I think at this point they're just going to try to do some creative things. Like, what would happen if you run in both scouts <laughs> through the, the little door, you know? Like, what would happen? Who knows? Let's do it. I'm pretty I mean, sure Fink Gaming have been answering that question plenty of times. Yeah, that's <laughs> They're playing quite reserved now to say they've only got a couple of minutes left. By the way, Tiger's behind during all of this. Oh, yeah, He's... they definitely spotted that. They just don't want to address him. Like, um, Captain will go down. They've got a soldier loose, though. He's on top of the medic. He actually will get cleaned up. And they yeah, that still was a got... force, by the way. So that was what Captain was doing there. <laughs> Tiger is going to get cleaned up. He barely manages to win that duel. But now, Stickies, Stickies. Oh, oh, he spots them. Nice one, Classy. That was a bit scary for a moment there. <laughs> yeah, they were. Oh, Lucas air pipes the soldier, but somehow Hugo. Oh, that's going to say off to Hugo's because survive that. But, you know, luckily for Lucas, before he hit his great air pipe, he missed one. So it was there to clean him up. Well played, Lucas. That's uh, some real demo man gameplay going on. <laughs> <laughs> Luke is like, <laughs> I'm so lucky. Yeah, yeah you, you are. You, you're also good, but you're also a little lucky. Man, this is, game is looking more like a Quake Arena than it is like a Team Fortress 2 game. Everyone's just running around, just uh, in different places of the map that you don't really expect them to be. I guess it's the nature of Granary in that drop down. They're going to still keep pushing here for Ascent.eu. A flank coming around from Yeehaw, because of course that's where a Red Scout would come from. They've already pressuring this point. They will force the Uber out of Vanny. He's popped now, and uh, Tomas wasting time of that Uber so they can't go in second point with it. They're still struggling despite... Uh, uh, having an uber charge kind of taken care of for them. Oh, Tiger blindsiding Box Tech. He's walking in. He's trying to hit meat. He ends up missing the meat, I'm afraid. And will go oh. down. Oh, <laughs> we got a soldier stick versus fight. soldier. Skill stick versus skill stick. And Captain's just a bit more skillful. A much bigger skill stick than his opponent. As uh, Lucas, he's going to get caught out so deeply. <laughs> oh no, the <laughs> pyro's you. back. It's back with a vengeance. There's, oh. <laughs> there's an awkward standoff, actually. They look at the pyro and like, don't shoot at him. Don't. Yeah. This, this is the spot play, right? It's actually, pyro's actually really good at the second point because of how close it is. But, <laughs> but it's, it's as soon as you walk into the open fresh air that pyro really suffers. Like that he's has got him. Does nothing. He's on fire. He's low health, however. Thank God for those modern health packs over on that granary last, as otherwise Mac might have burned. So, Tiger goes down, no scouts on the board for Ascent.eu. They could make a still a decent go at this, and it's a shame they've lost one of their own scouts, but I just don't see any sort of fruit coming out of it. They will pop off the Uber. Tomas is behind, by the way. There's 15 seconds left on the clock. Everyone's just looking for kills, because that's all that matters in the final minutes of a game, it seems. And yeah, optimize well, well, well. your stats. That's what's going on here. You know, get, getting those extra Ubers in. Uh, get, <laughs> good stuff. Oh, no Opti. <laughs> I'm try to jump the sniper. Doesn't get him. It. It's fine. That's going to be 4-1 to one here from Ascent. Pretty, pretty comfortable win, I'd say, for them. They really seem to have figured feint out and just shut down their aggression. They got overwhelmed and kind of surprised by it a bunch of times. But then they adjusted, and especially Lucas was just so diligent about shutting down chokes and making sure that those fights didn't allow for the kind of chaos that Faint was looking to establish early on. So definitely one of the, the standout performers for me was, uh, was Lucas on this map. Now, because this isn't DreamHack anymore, we don't have to go to any more advertisements right now, Beta. We can look at the logs in all of its glorious uh, fury. I'm not sure if you have them already, but I'm trying to hunt down mine. If you've got them, please shout out some stats. Yeah, all right. So just looking at it, we can see, actually, yeah, Lucas is the, the top damager there. Goes 25 for 17, 338 damage per minute. Really strong. And then, like, Poppy, good damage after that. And then after that, we have Tiger, who was a complete beast. Actually, his KD is kind of bad. Uh, you know, he was just doing so much aggressive playing. He almost had 300 DPM, went 22 for 20, and he just, 
he was the answer to a lot of uh, Ascent's questions, I feel like, in this map. It just did so much work for him. And Opti was not having a good time. Opti hit a lot of really good shots, but it didn't matter because whenever he was shooting at someone, they were just so healthy that they didn't die. Yeah, I think the worst part of it is is when the Granary is not one of those maps that caters for letting people in those doorways. I think if someone manages to get loose, they're such like a random thread out and they can't really be supported or, you know, uh, just helped along the way. And Opti's not going to kill these buff players on his own, is he, when he gets into these Granary mids? Yeah, and we would kind of see... Sort of what we saw in the pregame stats as well, with uh, with uh, Vanny dying quite a lot more than, than Classy this game around. But uh, yeah, didn't have more heals just because he was dead more. But his, his heals are very comparable, and his Ubers, he actually had more Ubers as well. But it kind of goes to show just how aggressively he used them. It was very often they, they just decide to use the Uber on their terms very quickly, and just speed up the game. And that mm. seems to be Faint's entire thing. Right, you can see... Like, Vanny dropped two Ubers, and he still had one Uber more and a Crits Creek more, <laughs> more as opposed to Classy. So, Classy's just much more conservative with his Ubers, whereas uh, Vanny, he's just like, I don't want to carry this thing, just uh, let's, let's get rid of it. <laughs> I mean, it was weird to watch, Peter. It seems like they got a sucker punch really early against Ascent.eu. Uh, they had the game going uh, and in their possession from the start. But I think they were so shocked that it worked. They That was the only thing they did the entire match. They was like, okay, if we just keep going aggressive, being unpredictable, Ascend.eu are done for, because this worked the first round. Let's just do it every round. But slowly, round by round, fight by fight, they just kept doing the same thing and losing. Yeah, and uh, I've got some bad news for you. Uh, Turbo Tabs, at least if you're a faint fan, and that is that Metalworks is very similar to Granary in that respect. <laughs> There's uh -oh. some real tiny doorways and hallways in this map that do not really allow you to be very aggressive. It is possible to do it into second point, for instance, but there is this like very long, choky, tiny hallway with a tiny door. That's just extremely difficult to utilize. And then, like, if you want to go in through lower, then you're on the low ground. And if you want to go in through the far left side, so to speak, then it's a very long walk and it's still pretty narrow going on. So, think strategy does not seem to be favored by these map uh, choices, so to speak, in this week. Uh, it's obviously random, but <laughs> yeah, the, the random map picks uh, have not favored them against the center, I feel. All right, I feel like I'm in a bit of a negative Nancy B, so I've kind of, not only maybe because it's off the back of the Dream Hack final, but they this map that we just watched, it was an improvement. I believe if I had to put my hand on heart and the hand on the Bible and all these other little sort of scouts on a uh, truth serum things, it was better. It was much better than their previous little encounter, but... I feel like they just lost grip a little bit. Do you think that just comes down to they should stick with their style like they've been doing that previous map? Or do you think if they get an advantage, they should try and change gear a little bit? Um, yeah, I, I really do think that they, they need to, to mix it up, at least. It could be that they're saving strats for the final. I doubt it. I, I think this is just what Faint are and what Ascent are. Like This is just kind of their play styles and they're rolling with it because it has worked to a certain degree for both of them. So I, I think they're just kind of comfortable with the way this works. I will say on this map, the soldier-scout-suicide combo, so to speak, is actually really good. Now you can send in a soldier and it's very difficult to stop. And a scout can also run in through lower pretty easily compared to a lot of other maps. Like you can get in pretty deep before they can really respond to you. So if Yeehaw really wants to just go in, then yeah, he can probably get onto those little pipe ramps or whatever near the, the med kit the lower. And he can probably walk, like run up that way before he has to be absolutely dealt with, if that makes sense. If there's also a soldier in the skybox at the same time. That's what I'm assuming. Mm. So so you can definitely do that. And we, we saw Opti have a, a bunch of pretty good plays. And he just didn't get the kills. And mm. I feel like this map is better for soldier plays. 
in general. So maybe Opti can can have a lot more success on this map because he was having a real rough time on it uh, on Granary. It was not good for him. He just kept being picked off on the flank and losing one v one or hitting some nice shots, but it's not quite enough to actually get the pick that he wanted. So yeah, maybe some change of luck for Opti and combine that with some map geometry. That's all they need. <laughs> that's all they need everyone just needs to just have a better time i feel like i'm trying to think of a matchup that maybe might have been more faint gaming or kind of a happier time uh, it's hard to pick out though i feel like uh i sent kind of outclassing them on every movement there was a point where i was actually impressed by mac compared to lucas like there was times where i was like oh mac's really actually got a foothold and controlling some of these uh uh, these moments and coming out clutch and then like Lucas just turns on a switch and then he's like back to being Lucas Tank uh, decimator of all demo men yeah like we kind of the curious thing is that we've seen Lucas kind of struggle on Granary it's kind of been his one weakness of a map on demo man where he just he could actually get shut down and not do very well but either Faint did, did not <laughs> managed to just capitalize on that properly or Lucas has improved and gotten better which is super unfortunate if you're anyone but a set you know kind of mm. like this absolute monster of a, of a player just got better like you know that's annoying well what do you do Beta? you're in the locker room for faint gaming and they're feeling uh, maybe a little bit disheartened what inspiring words or what could you tell them to snap out of it uh, I would definitely try to just take a deep breath in a couple of situations where um, where before you would probably just run in and be aggressive in these kind of even situations. I think you should still do that, but I think you should try and mix it up a little bit and just kind of slow it down and take some some slower approaches with sending in suiciders and whatnot, like kind of like a normal team would play. Mm. So just be a bit more unpredictable and be a bit more I want to say kind of logical like you just read the game situation as opposed to reading your own strengths as a team mm. and playing off of your own play style All right, I think if you just focus on that and then make sure that you continue to keep track of Tiger and try to see if you can bait him again because they did that to a certain extent and like Tiger wasn't that devastating for most of the game he had like two insane good good plays right but other than that he was just being very aggressive and actually getting picked off a lot so you, you have to take a lot of damage from him but if you make him do damage to three players then you're, you're doing well and they actually managed to get that situation a bunch on granary so i would focus on what you did well and they actually picked off uh, tiger really well that game Wow, you use a lot more words than me. I would just go into that locker room and be like, boys, look at Tiger and just, you know, think about him. When you're pushing in, think, where is Tiger right now? Because that's where a lot of these uh, pushes end up beefing, I feel like. Just a little bit. All right, we're going in. It's our ETF to well, season of 37, week six. It is our game of Ascent. Dot, well, it should be dot .nl, but I'm going to keep calling them dot .eu. Think <laughs> Gaming, uh, it's Turtles, Vita, We too. We're covering this map. We're on Metalworks mid, and the first thing I'm seeing is a soldier. I think he is traveling across. He's getting there slowly, but nobody really wants to commit in. And you will see this a lot in a lot of mids. Nobody wants to be the first one to die and give up these mid fights. They will end up uh, finding the pick off onto Tomas, but there's a lot of exchanging and trading between soldiers, enemies behind lines of both teams. And both teams are having a tough time controlling and keeping on top of it. It's a scout versus demo man. Ooh, <laughs> this is not going to be good. Can Lucas really tank it out? Well, he will not. He will lose his medic buddy, and that was not the clash you want to lose between the two of them. Yeah, I actually thought that mid was really nice from Faint. They managed to get two soldiers up on the crate at the same time, shooting down at Ascent in this really passive situation. That's extremely good. They did lose Vanny in in the process, but that was just well played by Vanny because that means he spawns way earlier. Good job by him. Voxix <laughs> uh, has, uh, has done some advanced scouting and some quick dying of his own so a bit too far in probably not going to matter too much as the uh, <laughs> captain saying it's 1-1 one, one. Uh, I, I guess they have a duel we should keep track of this turbo top this is important yeah there, there must be a uh, there must be a strange oh, little really moment ah okay that makes a lot more sense okay well, Faint Gaming must have heard us, Beta, because I thought they would have gone a bit more aggressive there as a team and started pushing in. They're, they're starting to go aggressive now, but they actually have the Uber Charge. They've got Classy cut off 
He's managed to predict where the exit route for that medic is and he will be taken out. Advantage guaranteed for this squad. They've got the second point and that, those deep breaths seem to be working, Beta. Yeah, you definitely, like this was definitely a good situation to go aggressively, right? You know, you don't want to just blanketly be more passive. When you have the uber advantage, you obviously go more aggressive and they got that. So this is where I feel like before they might have thought about going in, but now I want them to just take the uber advantage just and push in with it. That, that's all I want them to do. Maybe take lobby as, as the most yeah. they can do. Isn't this cute here? Look at this little spot here, Beta. I guess yeah. we'll, be, we'll be seeing this on YouTube. Hello. Well, it depends on how well it works. Uh, we, we oftentimes see soldiers stand up here and kind of just waiting it out. So, <laughs> but uh, this, this is kind of smart, I think, because against an uber advantage, Ooh, often what you do is that you go for the demo man, but if you can't find him, then you can't get him. <laughs> Easy pick, and the, 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 it's like a mystery to faint game. And they're like, Where are these stickies coming from? And oh, nice little cleanup. I don't think they still don't know where Lucas is to this day. No, they so. know. he killed someone, so they got the, the, the kill cam. So. Oh, right, fair enough. I completely forgot about the kill cam. Who knows? He may, he may have just started turning off the monitor or. Okay, I'm out of stretch here. But the sense they will, <laughs> they will get the second point here. They've yeah. got the Uber charge. They're ready to start running and gunning and start barreling in. They're going to take the long way around, trying to be a bit greedy. It looks like for Ascent.eu, as you want to hold on to your Uber if you push oh, it out this way. So deep, and as he's getting pressured out super hard, he could definitely die if he's not careful. It looks like he is going to eventually back out. Ascent actually being so slow that Vanny almost has to do both his own, but. I said they do eventually manage to get it out here. They're just gonna take it slow and easy. They're gonna get mid for it, and now they're gonna just be on an even Uber pushing in here onto second. So now we're in the situation where how do you break this? And we've seen a couple of answers to this. Uh, soldiers into the skybox from the, the left side, or you can send in scouts who, who lower. There's a bunch of different uh, options oh. here. So Hugo's gonna go down. It is that one of the options, just wait and completely forget one part of the map. But the Hugo explores that part and ends up dying in the, uh, that room. Sneaky, sneaky traps coming out from here from Ascendo EU. They're actually just uh, sticking oh, up the point. Pappy ends up jumping in, uh, avoiding those stickies. And Pappy's still alive during all of this. Will go down now, but that's cost a lot of resources. An Uber, a Scout, uh, some ground. Uh, covering of doorways they've also got an uber charge to deal with a little bit they will have the tail end of it now but with a few players down for faint gaming they might think about pushing here for ascent yeah classic is weak as well scout's gonna come in from the side that's tomas it's actually a really important duel he is gonna lose it so yeah, but eventually everyone from ascent just comes in here there's gonna be two spawners so and one of them is a demo man so this could definitely be slowed down and uh, oh no, poor Opti. He tried so hard to get onto the point there, but eventually, too much pressure on it in the center, just gonna slowly go in there with the heels being continuously pumped out. Kaiser was very weak for very much of that push, but as long as he doesn't die and he can just continue to pump out those heels, his team are just gonna be able to slowly get that. That's gonna be one to zero here for Ascent. Uh, pretty good round. You live by the aggression, you die by the aggression. They hold close there for faint gaming, but the trades go ascent EU's way, and they're going to go in nice and quick and early for Opti. He's got a hot date tonight. He wants to get this mid over and done with, and with a demo man down, that's Mac usually is still alive as well. curtains for a mid. Yeah, they got Max still alive, like you said, and Hugo's a little bit behind. He's he's trying to find where Classy is, and Classy's in the bunker. He's scared of artillery fire beater. <laughs> yeah, don't get shell shocked, my dude. Poppy's still behind lines here. But I, I can't stress enough how important it is that Mac survived all of that because both demo men got, got jumped, but Mac, he survived with like 2 HP, then he got arrowed, then the second soldier jumped him, and then he surfed away from that as well. So they, I said they spent so much energy trying to get him that that was just a completely lost mid here. It is even worse. Oh. We got Tiger again on Sniper. He's going to see if he can peek his way out here. And Poppy, he's still behind line, so maybe looking to do some sort of pincer. Yeah, he's. Uh, we were talking about artillery fire beater. This man is the uh, the fact 
uh, the fat man, the little boy, and oh my god, the, the little boy's been cleaned up, he's been killed, and they've actually fed a, another uh, soldier into him, or would you say it's a forced uber? It depends if your glass is half full here, or half ubered. Let's see, is they trying to make another push in, sending more sort of sticks their way, trying to carpet bomb the sticky point, that nothing knocks off an ubered uh, scout though, at least not without a lot of stickies. They end up cleaning up all these players, they kept Mac alive, and Vanny, so that's a positive, but I think they're going to lose their second point here. I feel like both teams are not happy with uh, the series of events. Like, uh, they ke they kept losing Uber, they lost a lot of players, it was uh, really quite scrappy overall, so neither team really benefited too much. We're kind of back to where we started, just off of uh, both teams kind of screwing up and allowing a lot of things to happen that shouldn't have. But yeah, Poppy being able to get the Uber Force off of that while being called behind lines, like he bumped into people constantly, but he just stayed alive and got the Uber Force out. That's really great play. And now, what are Fink gonna do? They have these Uber advantages actually. They're just gonna uh. pop immediately. All right, I kind of like this. When you have the ad, use it. And if you oh, 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 here we go. Massive rockets coming out from that man. They weren't flashy, but they were massive and they take out Classy. And they can keep going with this if they want to just go with the heal advantage alone. But I think they could just play it safe, get those. Uh, oh no, they're going with the heal advantage, definitely. They've got the um, man advantage as well, so I can understand and respect they're going in. They have to take out the sentry gun, however, and that's not an easy task without an Uber. They will. Uh, perform it however they're trying to get a scout on top of the point Lucas isn't in this super safe spot anymore and wouldn't you know they've got a round beater yep really really nice push in there I really like uh, when they play aggressively when they have the advantage and it makes sense for them to do it they're really good at doing that and they need to to keep that up all right so it's just a matter of actually picking out the the moments to actually use the aggressive play style and when they do Holy hell are they scary to deal with. So now it's one to one. We have about 20 minutes remaining and both teams, they seem very comfortable with pushing in here. One more than the other, obviously. But this is anyone's game to the Oh, well, Scout going aggressive on Mac and Mac going down so early. We know how these mids usually end and pain gaming. They look like they still want to stick around. For soldiers waiting for the telegram and oh, oh, it's a double fake back. They send the soldier back in aggressive. Vanny's still supporting his team with heals and fire. Hugo's gone in deep and he's bought some more ground for his team, but they can't stick to a target here. Everyone's just too just sneaky over on Ascent.eu. Lucy Glucy and too hard to hit. Everyone ends up getting dodged and dead. I can't believe that Faint went in onto that because they just had such a positional disadvantage that entire time. Looks like they want to aggressively hold on to the second point, which makes a lot of sense. They, they really need these spawners to come in quickly, otherwise they're going to get overwhelmed. You can see Tomas, he is uh, coming in here with the flank. And yeah, he's actually going to force out the Uber. They do know where the enemy medic is, and actually Lucas has just been abandoned there, so they're going to pay like for the Uber advantage with their demo man, but they can still move in onto this with the Uber, obviously. But yeah, they, they might pay for it. This is a very interesting situation right now, Trevor. Oh, yeehaw. He wants to go in behind. He's joining up with Hugo. Long flank around. They're going to have to try and get this uh, Scout or Uber charge out early. Oh, <gasps> drop! Drop coming out from Classy. He's on the board right there with Vanny in some of these drops. And with him going down, this might be curtains for this second point. But faint gaming, there's nobody there to keep this second point defended. They decide to just cash out. Get their chips converted and just stick with the Uber advantage. Yeah, that was a very, very interesting situation just because of the way that, like, like Classy just let Lucas die. He just decided that he wasn't going to use the Uber on him to save him. And so they had this much, much better Uber. But then obviously two players from Faint actually ran in behind. And I don't think Vanny realized this. And then the scout managed to pick him off. And he just didn't expect it. So now we have this Uber advantage on Vanny. But oh no, Hugo goes down. It's on 99%. He couldn't get saved. And that could definitely be a disaster for this push, but it's still ongoing here, Turbo. Oh no, not only did Vanny couldn't he heal or uber any of those players, they also have a soldier to deal with behind. Tiger was hiding, baiting off that soldier uh, back cap there. It was a trap play in the center, all come collapsing in. There's just a soldier and a scout. And oh, the respawns I, the, though. Thank God for the respawns, Beta. Yeah, they came in just in time there. Then they're about to just roll over them real quick here. But they have the Uber advantage, so it definitely makes sense for them to just slow it down, wait for players to come back in, and then they're going to have this Uber advantage to just push with. 
But this was a very precarious situation. There's no sentry gun because there's just no time to actually build it. The Voxic on the heavy, but this is such a passive position right now for Faint. Yeah, they've forced out the Uber, but uh, that was to be expected. They've already got point pressure. The Stickies on point have uh, dealt with whoever is aggressive there. Soldier trying to keep his uh, body on there to stop anybody from just capping out that final remnants of the Uber. Heavy weapons guys taking he heavy means into his own hands, and it's just one scout left. Another 1 HP warrior, and speaking of ones, it's now gone to 2-1. Yeah, really solid push going in there with the Uber advantage. It, it didn't go completely as planned. <laughs> there was another soldier hiding up on the high gun this time, by the way. It, it's a good spot. Uh, I think everyone needs to just make it a happy, just crane their necks back whenever they walk into that last point, just to make sure that no one's hiding up there. But they, they got all the key picks. They got the demo man pretty early on, which meant that they could pressure the point, and that was just barely enough to cap it out. Sending our energy to Mac, trying to keep him alive for this mid as he is pivotal to try and win these mid for faint gaming, even though they still give it a good hell uh, Mary as even with it with him going down. They will trade a few soldiers between both of these teams, but again, no team. Maybe faint gaming feeling a bit better uh, on the point compared to Ascend.eu and they're trying to bait Faint Gaming in. Oh no, they've actually gone aggressive now and Mac was kind of left on oh, his own. Nice little Hugo. shot coming out from Hugo. He's trying to save this midpoint for his team and my God, is he doing a good job of it. The scouts are trying to demo, chase down. Demo Medic again getting chased down. This is just a disaster. Like, they're gonna be really happy if they can get out alive here. It looks like that's gonna be the case thanks to Poppy being alive out here as well. But man, this is the second mid in a row where one team has all the low ground and then they decide to push in. I was kind of being critical of Faint uh, last mid when they did it and now Ascent did the same thing. And it hasn't worked out for either of them. It's a, it's a very precarious situation and I kind of think they should probably just let the mid go but they just refuse to do so and they get punished super hard. It's full uber for Vanny. He's trying not to get popped. Uh, uh, yeah, Captain's not going to be able to get close there. Both scouts just chew him up. So this is looking great for Ascent or for Faint. Yeah, they're going to leave one player behind to uh, cap that second point. That means there's one less player for that push out into last. They deal with the sentry gun before the Uber comes out. They've popped it now and with Tiger taken out as well. The demo man being pressured and killed. Peter. I think this midpoint might be said and done. It depends how much work this heavy weapons is doing. And it is doing heavy damage here, Peter. That one more soldier oh. to take care of. And oh, they just didn't count the heavy weapons guy. Yeah, and more importantly, they didn't, uh, they didn't put pressure onto Classy. I think they really needed a much more present behind the point. Oh no, Mac! He's been jumped on! Oh, thank God for buffs. Oh, he actually gets punished as well. Poor Pappy. That was the correct play, but the wrong outcome. And they're throwing in still more uh, food for the fire. Scouts are getting close to this doorway. Rolls reversed. The scouts will lock down the doors and the heavy weapons classes will lock down the point. <laughs> the tiger's just gonna run right through the, the, the door into the drop down that's kind of funny uh, but very aggressively trying to push them back here from faint you see faint they kind of want to take this fight they know they have this ad if they see the enemy medic and be able to catch him out like that's what they want to do but they have kind of misread the situation where they're going for the back cap now and now they have two players caught behind lines it's even <laughs> what the hell yeah this is a weird situation what the hell? Okay, well, this is a very weird Uber. They've got their own Uber charge now. Classy milks it for all it's worth. He will lose his demo man, though. A bit disconnected during all this. And now it's one soldier against the other remaining combo classes. Opti hasn't been spotted during all of this. And you know Opti, he's got that stick. That one that gives him the two times... Oh, he hasn't got it this time. Well, I'll eat my words. Yep, uh, you, you know more than Opti, I guess. Uh, it is going to force people back quite a bit there's three players that's going to slow down the mid cap which should enable faint to hold on to second pretty well it kind of depends on how aggressively ascent move forward here and take space but i imagine faint are going to be able to hold on to second or at least put up a, a good defense that's going to make it difficult for clients to push in without popping and not pushing in or not popping when you push into the second point is a, a bit of an art you usually go on the far side the far left side or you go mm. through the bottom uh, because that's where you actually have a uh, place to move but it's almost impossible to prevent the soldier from getting into the skybox and landing on you so it's just a matter of dodging uh, the SS Pappy launched in 
upward, trying to buy some room for his team will do so, but I think that's more the fear of the Uber charge on its own that did that work. So they've still got a little bit of advantage, it's going to be lost now with Vanny getting his own Uber, but I think they're pretty happy with this. They could stalemate this out, but pff, have you heard of a stalemate at any of this man. point? Well. Oh, Captain's in as well. He's on top of the demo man. They're trying to clean him up with the scouts, and they will do so. And I just don't think these teams have any sort of waiting capacity. They've just got ADD. Yeah, like, I I, I think they think that if you, the more you move, the faster time moves. <laughs> you know, like, the, the faster you get to 30 minutes. I don't know. But, yeah, very aggressive push out here from Fate. You see Hugo trying his best. Poppy is still behind lines. Hasn't really been spotted. Actually, Hugo's somehow going to win against the scout there, even with two players shooting at him, but now all of a sudden it's faint that's down a lot of players. So this is just both teams uh, trading pressure, and the Uber did come out of classic here, so yeah, look at this, um, very aggressive push here. Uh, guys, the point, the point, guys, you went aggressive so hard and so close to the doorway, you almost forgot about the point for a second there. It's a good thing uh, it, there was no pain trains being slapped out. Good thing indeed. So we've got a second point probably covered. They need to watch out for the Lucas traps and they've spotted and identified them. Get that second point nice and done. But they have to worry just a little bit. Slow things down because there is an Uber charge being built slowly by Classy here. And this is not a map where you just bust through before you have this Uber. This would be extremely difficult to, to make work to get in and push before Ascent get this because they would just shut it down. And so probably he's going to jump in very aggressively. You see Captain just holding inside you got Sordas in the skybox, both of them actually. Oh my god, nice uh, air shot or air pipe there onto, onto Opti. So Opti, he's going to continue to just get bullied in this match. And Classy, pretty healthy, never mind. Eventually going to go down to Hugo. Yeah, and he's going to have to pop. Oh my god, to say that they were an Uber down over on uh, Faint Gaming. The Uber's been popped now. Mac has been given the green light, or should I say the red light, to go. He's massacring and locked them in. <laughs> and everyone's just been minced over on Ascent.eu. This is the time. This is the push, Peter. Yeah, that was a really nice move. Uh, that aggressive movement from Faint just completely managed to, to catch in everyone from Ascent. Like, classy. Like, the only escape he had from the Uber was to run onto the enemy second. That's not the situation you want to be in. Tyler, oh no, the outside. medic, the medic, he's been shot at with one body shot. It's, oh, it was tempting fate there and there's still more to come as Lucas has got like a clever little trap, but I think they're gonna sidestep it completely. And the sentry gun and second point, well, I've seen it all beat her and oh my, it actually did turn a few heads there, but didn't do too much work. The Thomas is stuck on Engineer during all this, so he's not going to be too much help for the rest of his team. And Lucas doing uh, a good job of just holding on to the point despite being such a, an advantage here for Faint Gaming. They've got an Uber charge, but the they haven't got as Uber? many players. Is this Faint? This is the first time they've played kind of passive with an Uber advantage. That's uh, pretty surprising to see. They had the man disadvantage, so they're just going to kind of slow down, maybe take that deep breath uh, that we're all hoping for. So. Have you ever have you ever seen so much respect for an engineer beater? <laughs> Can't say I uh, have. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's actually still on engineer. I thought he was just... I thought he was doing that thing where you're, you're in spawn and you're building a sentry outside of it. But then at some point he was like, oh, I upgraded it, might as well do Captain. It. Captain, what timing, Captain! Gets a nice little double shot and Pogo's himself up right into the skybox, right on top of Vanny, just as he was pushing in the game sense on this Dutchman. Yeah, he's just so good. Get the Uber Force out. Now, Classy with the full Uber ad. Looks like uh, they're, tra they're, they're taking the, the difficult way in. Or the, the, the kind of think about it. They're being very stationary. They're not really pushing. And yeah, this is the difficulty with going through this hallway. It's so easy to get sticky trapped or, and everything like, get spammed out. It's just so difficult. Man, it's like oh, seven Uber in. Out. Uber in. We're just going in. We're just using the Uber like that. Okay, well... Uh, Vanny, he's managed to get out. He's holding himself very defensively, and they've all oh, the get that scout. Uh, yeah, you're right. During all this, there was a back cap. They've still got to deal with some of this aggressive uh, 
Fin Gaming Squad. They managed to win out a few of these skirmishes, however, and deal with the back cap, so they can make another push in. But an Uber charge is now ready for Vanny. That's enough to delay mid at least, and they will pop off the Uber nice and early to make sure they don't drop any players. They want to find the medic here. They're chasing really hard, but can't seem to find them. But Classy can find them. He gets the kill onto them. Hold up in the bunker. Everyone's all over the place for both of these squads. I think they're both having a hard time figuring out where and who is where. They will clean up Cassie with, when the dust settles, but the dust still hasn't settled. It's still going. Reinforcements have arrived and Mac is cleaning them up. He's going to spawn actually. <laughs> Yeah, that was uh, so, so messy just because of the back cap coming up from Opti. He, he managed to, he got 1v2'd, but that meant that those two players were not in the fight to protect the medic. And then also at the same time, Vanny went down. So very, very messy fight. It, this kind of stuff probably favors Faint. There's no crit streak on Vanny. I'm keeping that in mind. And then, like, this is probably enough for Faint to push on. If I know anything about Faint, there's going to be a sniper, there's going to be a, a sentry gun oh, going well, on. Yeah. That strike that, reverse it, repeat it, it's Opti going down and now the sniper can still have three rain here. Another rings out, 420 damage. Not going to take that low uh, low hanging fruit there. Pappy goes down to uh, some holding line from Faint Gaming. They might even rotate around on them here. They're still holding very close to this doorway and don't want to give up the ground despite the sniper on this rampage. Yeah, Hugo might try to go for some sort of play. Oh, it looks like he's found a sending gun. Unable oh, to hit it. Wow. That sending gun wasn't as, as tall as Hugo thought, I think. <laughs> so it was pretty funny. He was just missing every single rocket. I, they were just like phasing through the top part of the century. Opti is in. He's deep. He gets one bit of damage on Classy, but can't really follow up with a second piece there. And they could think about pushing out here. That's two down for Faint Gaming, but they've got a sniper, they've got an engineer, not the greatest push out classes, and an Uber charge has been exchanged. I'm shocked, and so is Ascent. They will respond with their own Uber, and they try to get out like it's no big deal for Faint Gaming, and well, that has slowed things down for Ascent Beta. Yeah, it was a nice solo Uber, just a single soldier going on to the enemy medic, and I think it was a demo man, and then they managed to split the enemy Uber as well. So just this kind of the oldest of old school Ubers going on there. Just <laughs> a single soldier powering forward with that, splitting the enemy Uber and then Yeah, any kind of momentum that Ascent might have had just gets completely killed because everyone obviously have to just get out of the way of the Uber. Gotta see if they Oops. can spam down. One snipe, again. two snipe. Can we get a third? I like packs of three here, Tomas. He's been doing well so far on this sniper, feeling himself, but oh, Scout's going to go aggressive. Won't get the close range shot, and he's his buddy to kind of bail him out here. He's hungry, he still wants to go back, and uh, he's been, <laughs> too, been too punished greedy. for it. Yeah, he bit more than he could chew in that situation, pretty sure. So, yeah, this sentry gun from Tiger's not going to live long unless he moves in, and he does. He even gets out alive. Oh, Captain! <laughs> Get out of my point, says uh, says Captain. Hugo denied their sentry gun, trying to put on his best captain impression and denying more souls of that point. Ooh. Yeah, really good stuff there from, from Ascent. They did unfortunately lose two players, so the fact that Faint only uh, three up is not as disastrous as it would otherwise be. There's still going to be a ton of pressure here. See, Lucas is trying to... Just to spam this entrance, you can see there was a sniper lining it up, but I am unwilling to really go out there with the engineer and everything going on. Not really enough to, to properly push out. Oh, so, snipe! Nice snipe coming out just from Thomas there. Again. I thought he would have been uh, patient enough to get the medic there. He saw a heal beam, he could have maybe got him if he waited a second there, but a headshot's a headshot, Peter. Yeah, they're just pulling off to at this point. They, he's been headshot so many times in this exact situation. I'm gonna predict, that if I was Opti, I would have just gone for like uh, the battalion's backup just to build <laughs> that, just so you can't headshot me anymore. But it looks like he's gonna go for full invisibility. He's probably still gonna get headshot. Just watch it, man, just watch it. Oh, Locus got some stickies, got Hugo's number there. Everyone's going aggressive at the same time for Fane. You'd think they would hold down that scoreboard button and keep a track of things. Max has gone and overextended himself in the lobby area as well. Vanny's only got one scout oh, to play Opti's with. Point. He actually sapped the sentry gun. Oh my god, he sapped the sentry gun and he capped the point. Who does that? 
As Sen was just like, we have the sentry gun, we can actually push out every single one, like uh, Tiger basically led the charge. But they didn't think of the sapper. That's some that's some pub level TF2 here. I bet some casual TF2 players like, of course you'd do that. If this blows the mind of the average competitive player, Jesus H Christ. Yeah. All right, let's see if any of these sort of jump onto them in early this mid. That, that seems to be a, like a theme that I've uh, observed so far. Captain, big boys, two rockets, one reloaded, nice and defensive, but there's two soldiers are met. Captain denying that man. You will not jump anywhere. They do trade lives, but it was very stylish coming out from the Dutchman again, and they're just crawling all over Faint. Vanny's doing a good job of dodging it out, and they have to, a chance to clean up a few players here, go aggressive. No more leash for these scouts. Oh my god, Faint They're scouts actually are actually turning things it. around. It's the big boogeyman, but the boogeyman only have 50 HP between them. Yeah, one of them just got a medkit. I think they're about to go. They both got one. Okay, here we go. Two scouts against a single scout on the medic. Oh, they're going they for this. Uh, the focus in classy, but uh, the Tomas holding his ground there and will get a scout and delay that kill for another day. And is that a soldier going aggressive? Just ignoring Vox Oh my Tech. god, Captain got goobered so hard for that scout by Vox Tech. That was pretty cool. Eventually he's going to end up dying. But yeah, great uh, play there by Ascent. Just making sure that, oh my Lucas, god! Well, boy, you've got an uber charge, you can wait just a moment. They're still pushing in though, they are happy to keep pushing despite losing their most powerful class, uh, at least damage wise, and this uber charge is enough to fear faint back to their last point. They've still got it for the last push, but Vanny's going to have his extremely soon, so they don't decide to push in. They might decide to just delay it just a little bit, just so that they can't get re-pushed onto their own. It's only two minutes remaining, so if you just wait like a minute and push with that, you're not going to get pushed all the way back to your own. So you can kind of get two pushes maybe out of a, a single Uber advantage, if that makes sense. Mm. Yeah, why risk things? You know, do it nice and cold and calculated. Get literally the calculator out. Lucas is in! This is not a calculator play. He goes down to the heavy weapons guy, who's pretty good at the situations like that be so what were they thinking um maybe just go for some weird play we can just uh, stall it out like uh, faint are extremely unlikely to push on this so why not go uh, for the weird uh, have you met demo suicide? Fate? have you met faint beta i'm pretty sure they'll push off of a cough like they're still <laughs> going in now the pappy goes down and they're losing play by play well, I mean, a bit by a bit to push, if you're saying like you want them to push out here they're easier to kill out here uh, you say that, Tiger's gone down as well now, and oh, it's a bit nerve-wracking. They will lose Lucas again. No Ubers have been exchanged between both of these teams. Captain has gone unnoticed, the walking in bomb. He will uh, kind of slip his foot a bit, but forces out the Uber all the same, and we've got those old-fashioned Uber stare-offs. Scout trying to go and walk into it. Forgets that he's dealing with a soldier, though. Shoot floor, get kill, and yeehaw, he has to switch back all the way to last, and nobody really to follow up that Uber exchange. Yeah, and at this point, it's just Ascent they have to push in now. This is actually pretty well done for them. There's no sentry gun build up or anything, so it's just going to be a pretty straight-up fight with no Ubers, and that's exactly what you want here if you're Ascent. You have to go in, there's about 25 seconds, so you just load up you can see those two nice sticky traps from mac and they do get lucas so that's a really nice pick there that's gonna be so oh, <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh my. my they're all just going for a point play and my god that is a definition of a meat grinder and my god he even went for the battalion's backup in the last prime seconds so he was kind of give there <laughs> he was extra tanky <laughs> yeah that uh, 20 health Better than a shotgun, better than gunboats. You've heard it here first. It's like a gunboat that lasts for an entire jump, you know? <laughs> <laughs> what a deal. He has no plans of jumping, just air shotting. All right, so yeah. we've got a 2 2. We've got a golden cap here. Uh, that's pretty nice for on the side of Faint Gaming, as, you know, an improvement from their previous map. If they win this out here, they could probably hold their head up high about taking uh, this entire, well, maybe not taking the entire match, but just how they feel about this match here, Vita, if they win the Golden Cap. Yeah, and the mates have been extremely even. I think Faint have won 3-2, to two. so that's anyone's game, and it's obviously 2-2, two to two, so... 
I, I would favor a scent, but not by a mod. Just like by a hair. And just a single round like this could really go either way. So it's just a matter of getting a good mid out, don't making any stupid mistakes, and then don't get forced. Don't let Tiger get behind. Don't like let Yeehaw just run in and kill four players. Right, just make sure that nobody you don't allow the enemy team to go off here. So both teams you know, this is this is also probably the time where they're they're kinda tired. They've had two warm up matches and then They've played two full maps now as well, and now they're playing the very last uh, TF2 before they go to bed, basically. Hmm. Right, so, you know, who can just keep the concentration going here? That's a, that's a point you mentioned. You talked about Tiger, and I barely said that name during this entire map. I feel like Tiger hasn't really popped off as much as, like, the previous map. I know he hasn't been, like, at his full you know, God mode and situations we've seen him before, but he's been a lot more reserved in this map. Yeah, probably he's still one of the best <laughs> players on the server. <laughs> uh, I guess I'm just, I have so high hopes for Tiger. He's a man that like walks into a fight with two scouts and comes out winning and doesn't have a buff. Yeah, yeah you're kind of like 270 damage per minute. Get better, Tiger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm so disappointed in you, Tiger. All right, yeah. we have got some logs, and it looks like uh, we're not going straight into the Golden Cap, so we can just have a quick sneak peek as, and predict how the Golden Cap is going to go. And Tomas, that guy, he's uh, showing up Tiger a bit. Yeah, absolutely. He's obviously getting more heals. He <laughs> he kind of has the the easier the scout role as far as uh, getting uh, kills and not dying a lot. So you, you can definitely tell what the, the, the scout roles are. Uh, but this time around, it's actually Poppy that's, uh, that's having difficulty finding kills. He still has uh, a bunch of damage, but yeah, Opti, I mean, I, I guess he has 25 damage per minute more this game or something than last map. But Opti is still getting kind of bullied. But hey, if you can't kill him, just backcap him. Right. He found a way out. I want to show that I'm not playing favoritism here, B, to look at Mac and look at him towering above Lucas Tank. And he really has. He has improved yeah. and had a lot more clutch pays, nice little holds and stuff like that. You do see some nice, uh, well, I mean, I don't know. I just don't know why some of these times they decide to throw Lucas in some of these last points. It was maybe towards the tail end of the map and maybe it was that whole calculator, they can't possibly lose scenario things. But... I feel like Mac has definitely picked up his game going into the second map. Yeah, it's kind of uh, interesting to see just uh, how much more Lucas is struggling on this map. It's been uh, kind of a shadow of himself, as far as I, I've been able to tell. So, I'm not ent entirely sure why. I think it might just be the whole, there's soldiers in the skybox, what am I supposed to do about it? Sort hmm. of situation that we often see. And, and Scott's right behind. It's just a very difficult situation. And, and also, think they've been a lot more clever this map uh, with when they're doing their aggression they're kind of doing it based off of the flow of the game instead of just we're, we're faint kind of <laughs> situations i think what's strange to say is like i think lucas has cut off from his team a lot more than anybody of a fa uh, faint gaming is at least in the core uh classes core seems to be quite stuck together for faint gaming while since you'll find these times where Pappy just needs to get some quick ammo and Lucas goes down whilst he's getting that ammo and they're probably waiting uh, for everybody to be ready before they make this push in with the Uber. So that delays the Uber and then Classy holds onto it for longer. Then suddenly there's a drop and it all dominoes from there. Yeah. All right, we're about to go live here, Turbo Tabs. Give me a bold prediction going into who's going to win this. Fame gaming, baby. Let's get on this train. Choo -choo! All right, I'm all for the hype. Let's go. Fame gaming, they got this. They came back. They're doing so much better. Lucas is a trash player. He can't do <laughs> shit. He's gonna lose. Let's go, baby. <laughs> iron Bomber. It's more like Iron the, the, the Badder. Okay, we're, go. we're starting Got off. It. Start the VOD now. Start the VOD now here at, at the Golden Cap. Here on this Metalworks map. It's winner takes all. And oh my, Mac. Nice pipe. <laughs> what a way to start, man. My god, that scout was destroyed. And... The heart and soul of Ascend just seems to die from the inside out. Opti will go down, but it's not a mid uh, without Opti going down, so that's all okay. Good God, Beat, have you ever seen a scout destroyed so much by a demo man? Oh, yeah, he wanted that kill so much as well. Mag was on, like, 10 HP. And... 3 HP? Oh, is that it? Yeah. Ooh. I'm sorry, I didn't give him enough credit. That's three <laughs> like times he's... the health there. 
for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And 3 HP is effectively 1 HP in this game. There's <laughs> very few things that do less than 3 in this game. It's like if you hit a soldier at maximum range with like a scatter gun and he's got the battalion's backup banner active, <laughs> that will do 1, I think. Other than that, nothing does less than 3. It's like the afterburn. Never mind. I'll shut up. Let's go. Uber coming in. Sentry gun taken out. Point trying to be cleaned up here. Soldiers, are they on lockdown? They haven't really got a clue to who to fight here. Opti uh, might bail them out here by taking out Classy, so they don't have to have worry about an Uber charge. So they could go back, heal their wounds with Vanny, and play things off here. At least they've got a sandwich over on Ascent. Yeah, why would you want a medic when you can just eat a sandwich? It's so much more convenient. Yeah, sandwiches don't drop. Yeah, why get a girlfriend and get her to play medic when you can just have a sandwich and it has <laughs> yeah. the same effect, right? My sandwich but. comes back to me, my girlfriends do not. Hi all, okay, we're going uh, I'm, I'm just leaving the, the awkward silence after that one. You're welcome. Alright, we've got full Uber advances here on Vanny. And it looks like they're going to go through this left side. Probably going to go in through center once they get it. There is a sentry gun hiding underneath the point. If they go quick, they can actually catch the engineer building it. But the uh, class is way back there. Well, Uber's been used, and uh, I, I say it's been used, it's an air quotes used, because I don't really see much use of it. Nobody's really gone down or dealt with it. Find Lucas, who's hiding in that place from before, and he drops back down, and he's still alive, despite cratering back to the ground. Vanny's going in? Okay, well... <laughs> Probably smart, down. to be honest. Yeah, like that. If you can't run away, might as well run into them and die faster or kill them at, you know? So, like, why not? Why not? But, well, I mean, he could have gone back. He could be. I think there was one player that was up and he could have healed a bit. Of, yeah, okay. It's neither here nor there. They've got an Uber charge over on Ascent.eu. They're in the driver's seat and they're taking things in the slow gear, second gear for Ascent.eu. They're getting at a decent speed, but they're not speeding. They want to play things nice and cool, calm, and collected. So they have that midpoint easy peasy and now it's time time to check for more sticks more scouts more corners yeah. goal is to get into second without using Uber. that would be the ultimate success here for a second they're going to send in the soldier to the skybox very quickly Thomas is actually going to go down and think they have kind of overwhelmed the flank that's going to cause everyone from a to walk back here and slow it down look at this bat double back cap going on Hugo's going to just continue to run in behind oh classy he's low but he isn't popping he still isn't popping balls of steel on the, this guy as they will hold out hugo even spamming him now and they're getting a bit desperate here with the uh the long range spam onto classy we established he will not pop yeah he does not like doing that for nothing but uh vanny has actually gotten his uber he could just use this uber and use it to block second point here oh no scouts on him Oh my god, oh my god. now that is balls of steel. He literally like held on to that point. There was so many times he could have dropped that, but still held on to it as long as he could. Ends up popping it in the end, but it could have been a whole lot worse, Peter. It definitely could. They did use the Uber to defend second, but bad news is that Kleiser did not use his Uber. So There's going to be another Uber advantage push here coming out of uh, Ascent. The good news here for Faint is that Tomas did go down. It's going to slow down. You want that scout to get extra cap points. He's going to catch up eventually, but this initial push is probably going to be without him, and that could be a problem. But it looks like uh, they're going to take the long way out. Here. Oh, Pappy's rolled it. Uh, the the tr snake eyes this time he actually gets uh, on top of Mac before he did the same maneuver. No demo man to be seen this time, right on top of the demo man. It seems if you try enough time, Beta, it will happen. Yeah, indeed. Sort of jumps in very because the Yeehaw goes down. This push is looking extremely good for Ascent. Uber has come out of here from Vanny, so Ascent, they need to go back here and not lose, but actually they're going to win the fight during the Uber, and this should just be all but over. There we go. Everyone just disintegrates. Perfect push from Ascent. They're going to take this. So they're going to get five points out of this map, and eventually, or five points out of this match, uh, two from this map, and Faint, they're going to kind of limp away with one point. But they had a very nice map too here going into it. After having a pretty bad map one where they looked outclassed in a lot of ways. It hurts the soul to, to see because it feels like you see a lot of strong starts coming out from faint gaming and then things peter out in the end. And map two is no different as, again, the golden cap just uh, 
especially that last point, it looked very, very pear-shaped and just dropping players or players just going down a bit too early. Anyway, I guess we do look at the logs. There's a bit, it hurts a bit to look at golden cap logs, but... There, there's a combined log, actually. If you ah, want to it. okay, we have the technology. We are in the future, like I said. Yeah, not sure what's happening in the past on the other stream, but uh, out here, we're in the future. It's going to be uh, some good stuff. All right. Then All right. We... Combined right, log. See? I see. Lucas has definitely jumped up a bit. He's needed that extra round to kind of get uh, golden stars there. Not enough to catch up to Mac, but uh, just a bit more for uh, for him to not look so bad from before. Yeah, indeed. And uh, I'm noticing that Classy died more than Vanny, I want to say. Yeah, he did. All right, I, I accidentally looked at damage per minute. I was like, wait, what's going on here? No, that's different. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think the deaths are the same for both of these medics. I'm not sure if any of the medics went down during that round. It just kind of ended. Perhaps. Surely the, me surely the medic died in the golden cab, right? Okay, I'm going to look now. I'm curious. <laughs> you give it a look. Yeah, they, they both died twice. So oh, well, it's I, the same I, ratio. I, I can't count. Zero, okay. two, one, two. Zero. It's hard. I feel like I'm just taking a test, and it's like, what are the difference between these two logs? <laughs> I'm like, uh. they're the same log. Yeah, <laughs> the same thing. <laughs> I mean, at the you know on the on the bright side of things, they shouldn't look at this match too negatively. Everyone, faint gaming. It's improvement here, beta, and it's not the end or be all for all this league. No, I really feel like. They probably learned a whole lot about how Ascent plays. Obviously, Ascent got the same kind of treatment, but it's faint that's trying to catch up to Ascent. So the more that they play them, the better they're able to suit their play style towards what works against Ascent. And I have all the hope in the world that it's going to be extremely close once you get the playoffs, which is going to be pretty soon. Like, we're in the second to last week of ETF Tour main, main season. Well... Decide who's fully in playoffs. We've still got another week. We've still got some other matches. Ones that are being played just right now, Beta. And I know people are foaming at the mouth for some interviews, but I don't see any interviewees. We've gone through the logs. I think if we are quick, we could probably head on over to uh, our second stream right now. But well, let's you got... look at the league table, I guess. It's been updated. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> okay. But yeah, you, you could definitely see that... Uh... It's Swift, the bus crew, and then Chrisburg for defense is kind of breathing down the neck. And then after that, it's new team with only Alvin and the Brit Monks and Global Clan. And you kind of completely out of it. Mm. Okay, so yeah, I, I, I'm only itching to send it because uh, I know that the game is still going on. So have you got any closing words for us, Beaters, before we sign, send things out? Submit your cool frag to my demo call. It's on ETF Tools webpage. It should probably be on the right side. That's all I have to say. It's been fun. Yeah, let's go watch some more TF2. All right, let's go and do that. I've been Toa Tabs. With me has been Beta and We Too, and that has been Ascent.eu versus Faint Gaming. Great match. More matches to come. Stay tuned.